Yeah, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another Be My Hungry's full review. You feel me? It's been a minute, man. What's going on with y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in, tapping in. Remember to hit that like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, drop a dislike, whatever. It all counts, so I'm cool with all that. But today, got something for y'all. Uh, today, we back at the good old Culver's UD. Uh, so, I don't know a lot about what happened with this item. That item being the buffalo chicken tenders, right? Uh, it's my first time trying them. I never had the ones that were out before. It's my first time getting my hands on them, all right? So, uh, I seen that it was out. I seen it was a nice commotion about them. And I said, you know what? Let's check them out. Like, let's see what's to them. So, because I never tried them before, I did get a little, a small combo. I just got, I just got two tenders and, uh, you know, some fries. And when I was looking on the menu for them, I seen that they had chili, but I'm probably not going to review. You know what? I'll probably take a spoonful for y'all since I'm telling y'all about it. Why not, right? And, uh, of course, I got some barbecue sauce. I remember they had their own barbecue sauce, but now they got these Sweet Baby Ray's packs. So, shout out to Sweet Baby Ray on securing that contract, getting that bag. You smell me? Uh, and I want to just see what's going on with them, right? My bad, jars. They put a lot of stuff in the bag. So, like I said, this was a returning item. Seemed like a lot of people were was upset when they stopped selling these. And I wanted to see what the hype was about. You know, apparently they were really good before they left. Uh, and there's a good thing, too, because these things are still piping hot. And uh, Culver's, like I said, it's mostly a Midwestern restaurant. So, a lot of people, like if y'all live in other places, some of my viewers probably stay in places where they may not have one. Um, pretty much they specialize in smash burgers, smash butter burgers, excuse me, and they're really good. Uh, so this is what we got for the tender. Real nice on the exterior. Uh, looks real seasoned up. You see it got that nice pepper in there. Got a nice deep color to it. Uh, let's bust this drain open. Ooh, look at that. Let's bust his head to the white meat. Let's get it. Yo, that looks good, man. Nice fried up. They just opened. I think that's what I was saying. They just opened, so it got that little grease on there. Y'all can see. Got that little, got that, uh, got that nice freshness. It smells kind of spicy. So, my only thing that I won't be able to do I won't be able to tell y'all if they are better than what they were before because I never had them prior to this re-release or whatever you want to call it, right? So I can only give you my opinion on what they now are presenting. I heard they were a little different before, but again, I can't speak on that because I don't know. So I ain't going to make this too long. I'm going to get right into it and I'm going to just tell y'all what's up with it. So again, we got that nice white meat. It looked real good on that exterior. It got a nice little smell to it. And let's just see what's... Let's see what's to it. Okay. So on that first bite, what I can tell you is that this chicken, juicy, hitting, tender fender bender, in the words of my man, Dame Drop, is really good. While chewing it, it didn't have a lot of spice on it, but after that swallow, there is a little slow little burn on the side of the tongue action, you feel me? But it's a nice spice, it's flavorful, I dig it. I dig it. I can see why people were mad that these left. I tell you that. We gonna hit it with a little sauce too. Maybe do a little spicy barbecue thing we can come up with. I bet you this finna be fire, y'all. 
I know I just feel it. It's gonna be so good with this barbecue sauce. I can just feel it. We're gonna hit that thing. Mm, let's get up in there. Mm, mm, mm. Get down. I know a lot of people don't like barbecue sauce, but I like barbecue sauce. I don't like ketchup. I'm starting to like honey mustard and no. I know a lot of y'all watching like, oh, it's buffalo tenders. Why ain't you bring your blue cheese? First of all, blue cheese taste is smell like spoiled milk, yogurt, and everything rotten. Ranch, I can eat spicy ranch, but I can't eat regular ranch because it's nasty. Barbecue sauce is my thing. And I'm starting to like honey mustard. And I like sweet chili sauce. Yeah. That's a hit, y'all. These things are good. These are good. Out gate. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them a five, y'all. I'm not gonna even lie. These hit on the money. I definitely see why people were were petitioning, literally, to get these back on Covers menu. These are good. These are really good. I'm not mad at it at all. That's it. He's a five all day on the play, man. No complaints at all. Highly recommend if you live near a Covers or you adventurous and there's one that's close enough for, to drive to, I highly suggest you check them out. They come in, uh, I believe they told me two, four, and eight pieces. So like I said, I got a two piece just to try them out. If I would have known they was hitting like this, I definitely probably would have got four because I'm having Sunday dinner later, but I just wanted something for lunch and I said, hey, why not kill two birds with one stone? Before we go, like I said, I'm gonna tell y'all about this chili. Give y'all my opinion on that. And then I'll let y'all go, man. Again, I appreciate y'all pulling up and hanging out with me. Once I can find the darn spoon for the chili. I don't know what I did with it. Uh, it's at the bottom of the bag. Man, I hope y'all been having a great week, man. I hope life has been good for y'all. I appreciate y'all pulling up on me. So, without trying to make a mess, let's get this open. It's kind of watery, so I might not be able to tip it for y'all. Let me see. Y'all can see a little bit in there. It's kind of watery. But again, they did just open. But I tell you what, it is very, very hearty. Look at that. There's a lot going on in here. It looks good. It smells amazing. So real quick, let's just see what's in here. Looks like, you know, your regular chili, some nice ground beef. Heavy on the beef beef. Uh, nice beans in here. See some celery, a couple peppers, maybe some onion. Yeah, it's definitely some onion. All right, so let's get a nice little hefty bite of this. Looks like some tomato. Let's see what this do for the Sunday morning. Mm. This would definitely be a go-to of mine when it starts snowing. I don't like winter, but chili is always good, I tell you that. Let me rephrase that. I don't care for snow. I can deal with the cold. Snow is just too much for me. It's good, man. No complaints. Give it a 4.8. Really no complaints there. You know what? Yeah, we'll go with a 4.8. Only reason we'll go with a 4.8 is because I like my chili kind of spicy. And this is just a little, it's mild. That's the only, that's that's it. It's not a complaint. It's actually, it's good. It's not a, nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just my preference is that I like a little more spice to it. And this is rather mild, but it's flavorful, it's hearty, loaded with beef, loaded with beans, good vegetables, nice and warm for the soul on a cold Sunday morning. Yeah. And with that being said, I really appreciate y'all for keeping in with me, man, keeping in touch with me, tapping in with me every time I do these things. 
I appreciate every single one of y'all, man. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, dislike, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about my review, anything. Let me know what y'all think. I appreciate y'all. One love. Peace.